Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In a previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we can understand about the Gleck Ester case with respect to different types of support condition. So in this lecture, I am just going to show you that uh, I mean I have created some Excel file. I have found out the maximum probable six uh, combination. Uh, I mean position of a staircase already have discussed in our previous lecture and I have created six Excel file for that. So I'm just showing you about that. So if you just here, if you see your I, I mean your staircase is I mean like in that, that condition, then you can you can use this Excel sheet. So here you have to provide FC prime then FY and here the extra dead load I mean super dead load or floor finish then here live load and here uh, bottom and top width of beam here that one and that one and uh, width of a stranger beam here that beam and starting landing I mean that landing width and the uh, in landing length in landing means that landing width after that uh, height of I mean the width of train uh, trade and height of riser and number of trade and number of riser so we know that number of trade will be less than number of riser I mean uh, number of riser minus 1 equal to number of trade and here clear cover of clear cover of that stair I mean with slab and transverse shear river dia and here the longitudinal river dia and they have some common value you can see that and all also in our previous lecture I have just provided you a staircase manual so here you can uh, download that from the given link already have provided that, provided that download link in our previous lecture and also in that lecture you will be able to download our in that link from our website and uh, in the free section okay I mean um, okay so after that just after providing that value you have to come here load calculation and here you will see here the waist slab thickness minimum okay now here it is 7.8 it is 7.82 and here you are seeing that we have to provide a waist slab thickness and that value should be greater than that minimum value right so here 7.82 that's why i have provided it and your work is done now just you have to come here for sfd bmd you can see that after that design calculation from here you have to see that to check is it okay or not if is it okay then okay otherwise if not okay then simply you have to increase the slab thickness after that design here is the design calculation and finally you will get the detailing of a stair and here the full detailing of a stair and in our another lecture i will show that how we'll create a detailing and i mean shield in our autocad okay so and there i will discuss about it i'll just save it and i'll go back for case two similarly for case two I'll just come here and here for two types of stair condition you can use that our case 2 excel sheet here if if we have support condition in that side and that side then we can use that excel sheet and also if, if we have support condition in both three sides and also both three sides then we are able to use this this types of stair case simply you have to provide it that value as, as as like as previous and here calculation just here 5.6 on here that's why I have provided 5.75 inch your work is done now after seeing that SFD BMD you can you have to come here and you will see the thickness check and depth check if is it okay for share and for a moment then it's done after that simply you have to go detailing and you will see here that uh, detailing like offer these types of a structure yeah, i mean a stair so i'll just close and for case three okay for case three again i'll go and for case three if we have actually these types of a staircase are mostly used in our a structure so if you see that 
in that three side we have support and in that side we have a beam i mean for a, a stranger beam at mid landing then we have to use these types of condition and you are able to use that case 3 excel sheet here just simply you have to input that several data as like previous then you have to come here load calculation and here that is 6.59 that's why i provided 6.75 just you have to change here and everything is okay after that you can see the uh, sfd bmd and after that here uh, you have to check that 2 is okay then okay after that i'll just come here detailing and you will see here the total detailing of our structure now similarly for case 4 okay for case 4 for case 4 if you come here and if you see that you have a support condition in that side end of that top and bottom and at middle you have a support condition like that or a beam near our flight or going okay then we have to use this excel sheet and here here you are able to read i mean you have you will be able to provide that data very easily and after that come to, you have to come here load calculation and you will see here is the minimum waste flap thickness as per aci 3808 and 650 i mean we have provided 650 inch with respect to that data and it's okay after that sfd bmd that design calculation both are okay design check and then detailing here is the detailing of our these types of structure so just close and similarly for case 5 if we have support condition in that both side of top and bottom and they have no support in that side and also have support condition in i mean near our landing i mean flight or going then we are able to use this excel sheet okay now here you have to provide data then you have to come here load calculation and here as usual as previous you have to done that then sfd bmd then uh, design calculation and here depth check and thickness check for share and detailing i mean for detailing you will get your detailing here right and finally for case 6 you will see that i mean for here you can see that uh, these all kinds of cantilever types staircase so here you are able to see if you see that your str are supported in bo bottom and top landing and they have no support in mid landing then you have to use these types of condition and you are able to use this excel sheet here you have to provide data after that you have to come here and you have to provide that slab thickness and your work is done now here you have to provide data and also if you come here then you have to check both check is okay after the detailing so here is our detailing so i hope you have understood that how will how we'll use our that six excel file for our staircase design i mean for our dog leg staircase design so thank you thank you very much and if you need that excel file now how will get that excel file so uh, by clicking or i mean a link given in description actually if you are a member of my channel i mean if you're a gold member of my channel uh, sorry if you're a diamond member of my channel i mean you ha you have already taken a membership in dimension level at uh, diamond level then you are able to get our all excel file for free and just mail me I will send you our excel file if you are a diamond member and if you are not a member then you have to take our excel file from our given link i mean you have to purchase that for little bit i mean its price is very little very little means very little so you can compare okay so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video